Am I lifting a refrigerator? Welcome back to the homestead guys. If you're new to the channel, my husband and I have been building our dream property off grid. We started in May and we have a dried in building and we're working on our apartment. We ordered our appliances in November. We got the call yesterday that they are coming today. So we're gonna meet the delivery driver at the base of our road because there is a 0% chance he'll make it up here. Not only did all of our appliances show up, they put them on the trailer for us. <laughs> that was awesome. My back doesn't even hurt yet. We were told that this fridge was nationally back ordered and was not coming until March. So I don't know what world is looking out for us. I was, I can't, we are gonna have a full size fridge, you guys. We're gonna get this all strapped down now. It's frozen to the trailer. There we go. Yeah. Uh huh. Think it's gonna make it? Yeah. Slow and steady wins the race and doesn't break the fridge. Oh, that hill is steeper than it looks on camera. And you were driving too fast. <laughs> I had to run. Now, how do we get it up to the second story? That's a problem for another day. So our friends at EcoFlow reached out and they asked us if we would put their newest portable power station, the EcoFlow Delta Pro to the test and let you guys know what we think. So we're currently charging at 280 watts off these 300 watt solar panels, but the Delta Pro's charger can handle up to 1,600 watts of solar input. I think we should leave it. Quick escape into the shop. Now we're gonna to attempt to haul our kitchen appliances up and through this hole. And we're gonna use pulleys. You guys love the pulley. As you probably know, up until this point, for the most part, we've been powering our entire off-grid property project off the power system in our camper, which has been working really well, except for one thing. It means that if we go somewhere in the camper, there is no power here. Nice job. So we're installing this two by 12 so that we'll be able to lift our appliances with a pulley against the walls rather than pulling down on the trusses. Now this we're going to install all the way up there. What do you think? Does that seem safe? I think it's safer than how we've gotten everything else up here. So very nice and slightly concerned follower. Sent us this really cool block and tackle kit. It's a seven to one ratio, which basically means that if you are lifting something that is 700 pounds, you only pull 100 pounds on the rope. We're excited to try it out and see if we can get the appliances up here. Thanks, Becky. What's this rated for? 4,000 pounds. 
We will not be lifting 4,000 pounds today, so that's good. We could good. lift the Snowverlander with that thing. We could lift the Snowverlander with this? We also want to say a huge thanks to David who sent us these awesome rigging straps that we're going to be using in a V basket configuration to sling this range up into the opening. Do you know how to do that? I know nothing about this. <laughs> All right, here we go. Like yeah, Superman grip. Got his gloves on. <laughs> this is cool. So we need to set it on top of some things. I... Okay, come down. Feel stable. I mean. Cool. That's awesome. Nobody saw it. Whoop. It's raining snacks in our new opening. So we've got four 20 amp AC outlets, a 30 amp AC outlet, lots of USB, and it's even got 12 volt on the back, giving us plenty of options to keep all our stuff charged. Are you gonna tell them about Courtney's favorite feature? And Courtney loves the wheels on it because this thing is super heavy, but having the wheels makes it really easy to move around. And she thinks it's really silly when I wheel it around the apartment. <laughs> Courtney, what's the plan for the fridge? I don't know. We don't make plans. We make snow track plans. <laughs> that says 351 pounds. Mm -hmm. That means I need to be able to pull down minimum 50 pounds, but there's also some friction loss, so. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to move it the way you want to because it says you can't. <laughs> I cannot put the fridge on my back and climb the stairs. Don't think too hard. Okay, this is either going to work really good or not at all. <laughs> Step one is to find out if I can even pick this thing up. Okay. Stop. I just had one of those oh snap moments as I was picking up the fridge and it goes over center and it starts to fall. If Courtney hadn't been there, the fridge would have fallen over for I'm sure. still holding it up right now. <laughs> Am I lifting a refrigerator? <laughs> yeah. Is it okay, now it's stuck. Uh -huh. Gonna push the fridge away or something. Okay, so the issue is that we have more distance that needs to come up then we have pulley left, so. And Courtney just brought up the really good idea that we don't actually have to set the entire fridge down to reset it. All we have to do is get a strap from our lift point to our lift point that we can set it against in tension. So we can hang it while we reset everything. Let's see if we can get it there. Very jammed. One, two, three. Nope. Nope. Oh, I need like a, a pry bar. Oh, a shovel. Yeah. All right, she's getting a shovel.
Now, we're gonna hold here while we set it down a little bit and it's gonna come swinging into the building. Look at that. Is it still one piece? Please, yeah. oh. Huh? That took years off my life. I say that every time. We're never building a second story apartment without a deck again. Oh. Or without more equipment. Or we'll see, I don't know. Well, yeah, scissor lift. If we'd had a scissor lift, we could have just shimmied it onto the scissor lift and gone Rrr. I'm really scared to open it. Um, we don't know how it was packaged and I really hope we didn't damage the fridge. So let's find out. I'm mostly nervous about what my shovel did. Oh, I think it's fine. Did we damage the front? Yeah. I don't think we damaged it. That's I don't know why I'm so surprised. <laughs> oh, this is a fancy refrigerator. It's the fanciest fridge I've ever owned. I wasn't filming, but I got the styrofoam out and I threw it and then I didn't realize it was against the fire, so I almost burned our house down. That was a lot of work, <laughs> but it's up here. One of the reasons we bought this fridge is it's supposed to be a pretty energy efficient model, um, despite its really large size. We're gonna let this start cooling down and we need to get this window installed because it's cold. The Delta Pro also has a 3,600 watt inverter, which makes it powerful enough to power all of our power tools and run our entire apartment. Another super cool feature that I hope to get to try someday is that you can pair two of these together to make 220 power, which means I could power my big welder off of these guys. Why are the lights off? I totally forgot that this wire was actually connected and I electrocuted myself. <laughs> With the arrival of our appliances, the timing to get the EcoFlow couldn't have been better for us. It's got a 3,600 watt hour battery, which allows it to run our entire apartment, including the refrigerator, for more than two days without a recharge. We've only had this unit for a few days, but so far I'm really impressed with it. The build quality is great, and all the features seem to be working exactly as advertised. This is the largest portable power system that EcoFlow makes, so they also have lots of smaller systems that we're excited to try out in the future, like maybe in Courtney's GX for a camping trip. If you wanna learn more about EcoFlow products, check out the link in the description below. A little bit concerned that a piece of glass just fell out of the window, but it doesn't appear to be broken, so I'm guessing this just it was a hitchhiker from the factory. There's a man outside my window. You put one on the bottom, and then I think you can let go. Oh, you let go anyways. <laughs> All sealed up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you taking that downstairs? Yep. On our assembly guide. It's not a good sign when I see Riley reading the directions. I've never used this before. It's CSST gas line, so it's a flexible gas line that you can actually run buried inside the walls of your home. Oh, Boone's helping now. This eliminates a lot of the labor associated with fitting black pipe to do this. It allows us just to, to sneak this through the walls just like it was electrical wire. And by tonight, we should be able to cook meals in our new oven. What? I didn't know we were making dinner in here tonight. I didn't want to get your hopes up, but I think I have all the right parts. I was worried that I wasn't going to have the right parts. The fridge is up to temperature. Down to temperature? Yeah, down to temperature. And so far, 
We're at 92% on our battery still after it's been on for a couple hours, so pretty good. Especially with getting it down to temperature, huh? Yeah. I can't believe that we might actually be making dinner tonight in the apartment. Do not be I alarmed. think that... this is only a drill. Do not be alarmed. It's only a drill. <laughs> I've heard that one before. The funny thing was the time that he did that to my mom because she was very alarmed. It's one of my favorite jokes. <laughs> what are you doing? I am drilling a hole in the floor. Oh gosh. Hopefully there's not a joist here. Very good. <laughs> I can see you. I feel like there's a camera in my way. There was. Are we gonna stab it? No, you're good. Okay, CSST to a termination flange, to a valve, to a standard gas line. We're all hooked up. <laughs> what are you doing, Boone? You no, to... no, don't lick me. He totally heard me say the words dinner. Oops. So I bought this and this. They were on the shelf next to each other. So I assumed they went with each other. But this fitting has some kind of left hand straight thread. And this is an eighth inch tapered pipe thread. I've got about uh, 20 minutes to spare if I run to town right now to get the fittings that we need to get this hooked up so we cook dinner tonight. I'll try not to freeze to death. All right, success. Okay, since Courtney left me unsupervised and we finally have a freezer, I'm gonna make one more stop. Hi, buddy. Hi. There's a surprise for you. What? Come here. Wait, because I have a surprise for you. Oh. Okay, well, your surprise is, is going to open the fridge. What? All the groceries are in the fridge. <laughs> Guys, the fridge in the camper was full. I'm like, oh man, I really want an apple. <laughs> I don't think you know how awesome that is. But I have a surprise for Courtney because I know that that bottom drawer is empty. Oh, mocha almond fudge. This is the best ice cream in the entire world. All right, I've got the stove assembled. Now we're gonna go hook up the propane. How much does that thing weigh? It weighs a lot. Woo! Just a friendly reminder, we are not a how-to channel and we are not telling you how to plumb <laughs> your appliances. So we hope to someday have a large tank, like a thousand gallon propane tank. But for now, we can haul these to town and get them filled. This is all temporary, very temporary. And my job tomorrow is to clean all this up. Slip that over, pinch it shut. Oh, but I'll supposed to put that on first. <laughs> okay. Now we thread this guy on. It says danger, do not store near a barbecue grill. Okay. Moment of truth, I'm turning the propane on. No explosions. That's not funny. <laughs> Full spoiler, we had plans to make a very elaborate dinner as our first meal, but it's like 11 o'clock and we are exhausted. So we have a backup plan. Dinner of champions. There we go. Okay. Look at that, guys. That's a big burner. All on. Okay. We're heating up in here. What? 
I never knew about that step. Is that why they're always so small? It's smoky in here. This oven is smokier than my barbecue. Wow. And this is an amazing, amazing feeling. It's very hot. Oh. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Obviously, this is only the beginning of our kitchen. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.